Hey guys, this is Anita. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my November TBR. In November, I am participating in Once Upon a Readathon, which is hosted by Hannah Blackwell with 16 other co-hosts. There are five different teams. You can join any team. I will not get into details of the readathon because I don't think I can do justice. Hannah did a great job in her announcement video. I'll link that in the description. Please check that. She did an amazing job with artwork and rules. Please check that. This is a fairy tale themed readathon. I think she based this upon uh, her uh, TBR game. There is background story and all. The final destination is uh, we have to reach this apple tree. But we don't have to read fairy tale retellings. We can read anything as long as they fit these prompts. There are a few retellings I have on my long term TBR like Spinning Silver, Kaikei, but I am not planning to read them now. Since we are reading end of the year, I want to finish at least five series in my list and I want to finish few of my goals. So I am planning to focus on them. But I cannot pass on the opportunity to participate in a readathon. Readathons are a wonderful place to meet new people in our booktube community and to find new books. There are five steps to complete uh, this readathon. There are three different prompts and hard mode in each step. But we don't have to read all uh, books. We don't have to fulfill each and every prompt. We can just read one prompt per step and we can finish that step. Only important thing you need to remember is you have to finish these steps in order. All my books fulfill one or the other prompts so I am not worried about that. I just need to be careful in which order I will read these books. So the first book on my TBR is Golden Fool by Robin Hobb. This is book 2 in Tournament Trilogy. I finished book one full seren and I absolutely loved it. It's so good to be back in Fizz and Fool's World after a long time. We will have full seren live show on Sunday 2 p.m. EST. I'm not sure I'll post this video before that or after that. Please uh, look for it. This book fits entire step two, all three prompts plus hard mode. This book has map. And I recently acquired this and this book has a brown color and actually in heart mode there are four colors mentioned though these are small this has all colors brown, red, yellow and orange so this is perfect for step two. With single book I can get 350 points. Yeah that's another thing you can double or triple up points with single book you can fill multiple prompts within a single step. Next book on my TBR is Infernal Battalion by Django Wexler. This is fifth and final book in shadow campaigns. Fourth book ended with a cliffhanger. Oh my god that was I did not particularly like it. At the same time, I'm very curious to know what happens in this final book. After finishing that fourth book, I ha I wanted to go and check the spoilers immediately. I want to read this book very badly. This book fulfills multiple prompts in step 5. I'll read that for that those prompts. Next on my TBR is Augustus by John Williams. This is Patreon Body Read in Alan's Discord. I haven't read, I haven't known anything about Roman history other than few names like Julius Caesar. So this is my entry point to Roman history. I'm excited at the same time. I'm little worried. I want to like it. I hope I enjoy this book. We are planning to read this book at the beginning of the month. So most probably I'll read this for the prompt in first step which is to read a book which features royalty. Augustus will become a, an emperor so it will fulfill that prompt for sure. Next on my TBR is a carryover from October which is uh, Sons of Darkness by Gaurav Mohanty. The characters and setting is based on Indian epic tale Mahabharata. I will be discussing this book with Johanna, Angie and Philip Chase. I think uh, author will also join the discussion. Most probably this will be on the second weekend of November. This book fulfills many prompts, almost all prompts in step 4. But I will be reading this book for an author who is new to me and a debut author. Next on my TBR is also a carryover from October which is A Torch Against Night by Sabatahi. This is book 2 in Ember in the Ashes series. After the ending of the first book Ember in the Ashes, I am expecting this book will have romance. 
at the same time some conflict so this book also will fit multiple prompts i'll fit this in a prompt based on the order i read next on my tbr is tales of rc by ursula k le guin this is fifth book in rc series actually i haven't yet read book 4 tehanu while filming this tbr if i read this in october i'll read a tales of at sea in november if i haven't read tehanu in october i will read that in november next on my tbr is written of the king by jera tolkien i need to finish lord of the rings by the end of the year this is high priority so if i did not read this in november this will be the first thing i read in december if i can read only one book in december then that will be written of the king for sure i'll complete this series by the end of the year next two books on my list are tentative i am not sure i'll have time but the, these two i mentioned in my five star book predictions and i'm planning to read all of them before the end of the year at the same time these are short first one is august by adrian chekovsky this is a novella i think this is around 200 pages i'm hoping i can fit this in this uh, month and the next one is bonny crime by trevor nova this is a non fiction i like trevor nova and i heard good things about it i'm hoping i can fit these two in november one of them at least because i have another six or seven must read books in december and they are long books so i hope i can fit both of them let's see that's all i'm planning to read in november please let me know in comments what are your plans and check out the announcement video of readathon and join us please like comment and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye